Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have for you Pancras Alive 3 Fight Number 1. Uh, we've got quite a few events for you in this, uh, quite a few fights for you in this event, as well as another uh, of excerpt of our interview with Paul Lazenby. And if you heard that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm cracking a beer. Uh, first up, we have match one Satoshi Hazagawa taking on Takafumi Ito. Wait. And Hazagawa charging out into the clinch uh, after a body kick here. So over under Greco clinch, going for some ankle sort of. Well, they're foot sweeps and they're also uh, ankle kicks. Uh, trading knees here. Maybe someone's going to go for an arm spin. Please, somebody go for an arm spin. That'd be really cool. Because I think they're in just the right spot for it. Yes, Ito! Ito goes for the arm spin, misses it, and switches to a uh, single leg. But holy fuck! Oh, I knew it. I knew they were in just the right spot. Uh, Ito a double leg, tries to dump over. Satoshi Hasegawa shoving down on the head of Ito, trying to prevent this single leg. But I knew it. I knew someone had arms been there. And I haven't watched this fight uh, recently. Well, I sort of had it on in the background. I wasn't paying any attention to it. Oh, big picking up. Slamming double from Takafumi Ito. Asserting that he is king skinny bitch of the young boys. Alright, let's see how Ito passes here. I think he's just gonna take the traditional pancreas approach to passing guard and just grab a leg lock. Oh no, he's going for a leg weave here. Uh, yeah, sort of the Texas Cloverleaf uh, style leg weave uh, around the corner. Uh, Josh Barnett, of course, would get pissed at me for calling that a Texas Cloverleaf, but I'm just going to call it a leg weave because the uh, passing the leg across and then winding it under. Ooh, Takafumito tries to roll free. Uh, not Takafumito, because Satoshi Hasegawa tries to roll free. Takafumito sticks with him and gets him back down to the ground. Very cool chain wrestling between these two boyos here. And cooler ankle lace ride here by Ito as well. Uh, not working sort of traditional hooks, but hooking his ankles under Takafumi Ito's to maintain back control without hooks. Although uh, Takafumi Ito might suck him all the way around with that uh, and go out the back door with the way he's got his leg. Although, fuck, Satoshi Hasegawa. I mean, uh, Ito may switch off to some side back and then back around to a single back hook. Really awesome shit. Uh, another forward roll by Hasegawa in an attempt to escape and bridging hard, but look how stuck to him Ito is. Really cool stuff. Really fucking cool. And a lot of bridges from Satoshi Hasegawa, preventing the pin, but uh, no point there. Slap from Ito and a slap from the bottom from Hasegawa. Uh, Americana, sort of high wrist lock, top wrist lock attempt by Hasegawa, as well as some nice slaps. Backstep from Takafumi Ito into Shino Neck Ride. Belly down from Satoshi Hasegawa and then rolled straight back over to uh, stop Takafumi Ito from taking top. Ito knee slice. Very good top control and wrestling. Very uh, Suzuki esque here. He's just absolutely all over Hasegawa, who's doing his absolute best to escape. He's also being a huge dick by sliding in these cross bases. Uh, belly down from Hasegawa, straight into a front headlock. Oh, ankle pick. Although, nice grand beat from Satoshi Hasegawa to recover full guard. But yeah, Ito gets some shit as a MMA fighter, uh, especially during this period, but god he's good to watch when he's on. It's having a lot of like the Pancras style, of Pancras, uh, the true Pancras boys, they are so fun to see when they, uh, when they can just do their shit. Oh, shit on neck again. Double knee ride. Absolutely horrible to be under. Uh, reverse Z mount. Spinning to the back again. Mount as Satoshi Hasegawa tries to go belly up and escape. Body punches. Fuck. Ido is absolutely just all over Hasegawa today. And that makes a lot of sense, because uh, Hasegawa is the the next... Uh, Ido didn't seem to have anything for the previous uh, generation of young boys, but Hasegawa is the generation after, and so Ido will still have his number. And all that confidence from that uh, Heigar Chin win is probably still... Uh, Ido is still probably riding high on that, even with his uh, loss to Kei Yamamiya last time. Funaki style Z mount spins around. Oh, look at that! Holy shit! I don't even. Fuck. All right, Z mount. 
Kasagawa tries to re-guard and then catch a triangle and uh, Ido just hooked the uh, leg and used it as an underpass. Right round the side control and back round to on top and he's just slapping uh, Hasegawa from on top. And Hasegawa's slapping him from the bottom but that is just a way to get hurt more. Shino neck ride once again. Hasegawa oh, trying to kick up and escape. Neon belly. Being on the Edo today would be absolutely punishing. Just look at Hasegawa, he's in severe discomfort. TK says his attempt from Hasegawa, although no good. Uh, Edo spins around and he's trying to take his back. Spins back when Hasegawa turns back into him. I'm just loving it, it's so good. And you can see the Suzuki in uh, Ito here. Got for those double wrist locks, but missing them. Using his shin to uh, separate the hands of Hasegawa. Landing nice punches to the body as well. Double knee ride once again. Back to top control. Spinning to the back. Hasegawa goes belly up again. Tries to buck out, but nothing. Nothing for it. And the ref hasn't had time to stand him up because they've just been it's just been Ido on top the whole time. And not even like a boring on top, just a punishing to be under on top. So you want to grapple and you want to be a, a human that people hate to be underneath. This is one way to do it. Oh, nice back to escape there from Satoshi Hasegawa into a low single. Ito's going to sprawl on him here. Sprawls out to front headlock. Picks the cross ankle. He's going for that, uh... Oh, he's missed it! Oh no, he's got it though! Uh, and then, uh... Hasegawa tried to pull guard on that double wrist lock, but... Uh, cross ankle lock? Uh, there's a Japanese... Not a Japanese, there's a sumo terminology for that one as well, but, uh... So you got a headlock and then you ankle pick the, uh, the side ankle. Uh, gift wrap from Takafumi Ito, trying to roll over Satoshi Hasegawa, who spins all the way out in order to escape. Back to back control, rolling, trying to get free, and Takafumi Ito sticks with him. Hasegawa, you ain't got shit today, god. Oh dear, peek behind the curtain there. Uh, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain, ladies and gentlemen. You didn't see that at all. Ooh, good palm strike. I don't understand why the crowd isn't like into this as much as they would be, but still, it is really good. Really interesting from a grappling's perspective, anyway. When I was paying no attention to this fight, I was just like, oh, it's a slow grappling match with no submission attempts. Ooh, it is not slow, I'll tell you that right now. Of course, maybe if you don't have the uh, eye that I have, or... You don't find this sort of thing interesting, I can understand you not finding this match as being the most interesting in the world, but I have really enjoyed it. That double knee ride once again. It's probably we haven't seen the uh, West Point ride from Takafumi Ito. He's had a, a couple of opportunities for it as Hasegawa's gone belly down. Uh, that is something painful to be in. Who did I teach that? <laughs> I taught that to somebody I really shouldn't have, and I've been on the receiving end of it quite a few times. By taught that, I mean showed the video or said, Here's something I saw on YouTube. I'm not going to pretend to have students. Back control again from Ito. Hasegawa tries to roll out. Oh, finally he comes up on top. So, Ito misses his opportunity there. Although, I'm not sure what Takafumi Ito can do. Uh, hipping away from Takafumi Ito. Did I just call him Huff? I think I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I called Satoshi Hasegawa Takafumi Ito or something like that. Uh, Ito using butterfly guard trying to elevate. Lenny a nice palm strike from the bottom there. Hasegawa tries to escape. Uh, dives over. He's overcommitted way too much. So we're going to see a backdoor escape from Ito, I think. Maybe very odd escape there. He's shoving the other leg away and going round. Whereas normally you'd see sort of trying to scoot towards that leg and uh, finish the backdoor escape. Leg weave pass. Sort of shin, uh, punishing shin ride here. He's using the uh, ankle to maintain control. Nice underhook pass. Timing that well. 
Not very long left in the match, and he's looking for the opportunities, but the defense from Satoshi Hasegawa is pretty solid. Hasegawa coming to standing. Ito getting that body lock. Oh, are we going to see something awesome? German! German suplex! Yes! Uh, attempted double wrist lock there from Satoshi Hasegawa. Ito spins the right way in order to escape and maintains his back control. And if Ah, oh, awesome match. Awesome just display of sort of submission wrestling. Oh, used to be, uh, nearly locked up a triangle there. Used a half Nelson to maintain control long enough to attempt to lock up the triangle. But the match has ended, and that was a fun show. So uh, we will wait for the judges' decisions on that one. Although, if they don't give it to Takafumito, I've got no idea why. Especially with that really nice German suplex. Although he did land on his head a little bit at the end there. And look at the face of Satoshi Hasegawa. There's like abrasions and contusions all over it. Even though he well, he got slapped a few times, but most of that was just from the shin ride from Takafumi Ito. I think I managed to go the entire event last time without screwing up anybody's name, but I've screwed up uh, Hasegawa and Ito about six times in this one fight. Yes, deserved win for Takafumi Ito, who's like, nah, don't even bother raising my hand, mate. There we go. Alright, he just wants to go out the back. Maybe he feels uh, a bit shit for not uh, dominating the young boy the way he should have. Who knows? He's telling Hasegawa chin up, and Hasegawa's saying, oh yeah, what bro, we'll do it, do it again next time. Alright, hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time for our next fight.